This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left, I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhak Wadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Mostone. Peace and salutations to like scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhak Wadash, Brakdam, to use Aquanium, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. You know your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence, make your calling and election show, and of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the beloved Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Pashai Ban Yasha Allah, and this be a quick lesson through the Spirit and Pavi Ha'u Ba'ashim Shai on the narrow path, you know, that leads to everlasting life, the kingdom. You see, righteousness on being established on this earth you know we all have to walk down the same straight gate you know we have to enter in at the straight gate straight meaning what positions of difficulties see this path of ours is not you know dandy dandelions and daffodils you know what i'm saying this is a difficult path that we're walking on but this is the way we must walk ye in it you see in these last days you know the heavenly father yahweh bashim yahushai has places on his path you know that's leading us to everlasting life you know, and it's a narrow path, right? So I just pray this lesson could be uplifting, motivational for you brothers out there, for you sisters that believe in how about Shemel Shah to stay on this path, you know, continue believing, you know, through whatever you have to go through, you know, whatever, you know, whatever the Heavenly Father place, you know, any obstacles, you know, you can overcome it by believing in Yahweh Shai, you know, believing in Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, you can overcome it, you know, he strengthens us, man, you see that? So we must continue on. So I'm gonna read this one more time from the top, um, Isaiah 30 verse 20 And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity And the water of affliction You know we all catch in hell You know each brother You know and sisters out there that believe We all catch hell We all battling um, um, these demons You know what I'm saying All type of stuff You know infirmities You know some days you don't really feel in the spirit You know what I'm saying We all battling You know we're all catching hell Getting afflicted Jobs you know bills Rent all the type of stuff You know So it says and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. So who's putting us through this? The Lord. He's purifying us, purging us to be what? That pure gold. We have to go through this hell, the tribulation. The scripture saying in Acts 14 and 22, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So we have to go through what? Much tribulation. You see? The servant is no greater than his master. Our Lord Yahweh Shai went through the same thing. You know, it says, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, we can afflict it on this side, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Who's the teachers? The elders and apostles on down, the prophets, the men of the Lord. That's teaching, right? It says, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way walk ye in it. And that's what we tell our people. This truth, this path that we're on, this is the way, man. See, a lot of our people look for the easy way out. You know, and it's a song. I forgot the name of the dude who made the song, but it was an Iraqi for um movie, like one of the themes. It was like, um, there's no easy way out. You know, there's no shortcut home. <laughs> you know, that was a, actually a good song. You know, there is no easy way out, man. You see that? That people look for the smooth thing. They speak of the smooth things. You know, what's the easy way through this? Why I got to catch hell? Why I got to go, go through afflictions and all of this? Listen, we all got to go through it, man. See what the Lord going to give us. Is going to make that suffering seem like it was it was nothing you know the scriptures say that too how the sufferings of this time cannot even be compared you can't compare it to the glory that's going to be revealed in us you know the joy that's coming the pain that we go through on this side can't compare to the joy that's coming you know so it says in thine eyes sock in thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying that's the prophets you hear the prophets the men of the lord when i was in the bible through these video lessons right and thine ear shall hear a word behind thee saying this is the way Walk ye in it when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. So this is the path that you want to be on. This is the way walk ye in it. You see that? Now, if, like I mentioned, we all catching hell, you know. We all going through different things. But if you allow if you if you allow Satan to defeat you, you know, that means what? Your strength is small. So you got to pray for more strength. You see, let's read this right quick. Proverbs 24 and 10. If thou faint, 
in the day of adversity, so we catch in hell, right? Thy strength is small. You see, so if you faint, you feel like you're losing hope because you're catching so much hell in this in this narrow path, your strength is small, man. If you if you're thinking about going back into the world, one, there's nothing left for you in the world. There's nothing left for no one us in the world. What is you know what's left here in this place known as America, Babylon, and Greece? You know, this place is on its way out of here. So it says, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. So don't allow Satan to win. You know, because he wanted to sift brothers out of this truth. You know, he wanted to, he wanted to sift the apostle Peter, but our Lord Yahweh shall pray for him. Let's read that right quick. All right, that's in the book of um. Let me get it. Uh, Salak, yeah. I think it's Luke 22, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Man, matter of fact, let's read this right quick. I'm going to start up some. Yeah, it's, it's definitely this chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yep, 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 yep. But let me read this very quick. Luke 22 and verse, you know. So this one, our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, gathered his um, disciples, you know, um, and made them ready for, you know, for the Passover. You know, his hour was come, so on and so forth, right? So it says, verse 15, Luke 22 and 15. And he said unto them, with desire, I have desire to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. So he knew he had to go through it, man. You know, and he went through that for us, right? And it says, for I say unto you, I will not anymore eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of Yahweh. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, take this and divide among yourselves. Right, I believe this is what I'm looking for. Hold up. No, no. Yeah, I got to read down. Read on down. Salak, let me jump straight to the point. I want to get out right here. So it says, right here, verse 28, it says, Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. And I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father have appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. So we have to continue with Yahweh Shai and it, you know through the temptations, the sufferings. You know, he said, I'm appointing to you a kingdom as my father has appointed unto, unto me. You know, so we must go through this. You know, we, we must suffer on this side and catch hell. It's a battle. Even doing these video lessons, you know, getting them out. You know, Esau be trying to stop it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you about to do a video lesson and Satan try to, you know, hop on hop on your mind and try to, you know, steer you off, you know, steer you in another direction. You know, you start becoming lazy. You know, you get tired all of a sudden. You know, other things popping up in your mind. You know, you know, we got to do this work. See, it's a battle. It's, it's, it's a constant warfare that we go through doing this work. Week in and week out, going to the highways and the bodies, pushing his word. We have to continue doing so in season, out of season. You see? So we have to continue with Yahweh Shai through his temptations, through the sufferings. Because he suffered. You know, he got tempted. You know, he overcame. We got to do the, we must do the exact same. Right? So the point of wonder, verse 31 as well, it says, And the Lord says, Simon, Simon is going to Peter. It's Peter. Behold, Satan have desired to, to have you, that he may sift you as a wheat. So Satan wanted to sift Peter. You know? But guess what? Verse 32. But I prayed for thee. Yahweh shall pray for him, man. And we get that account in John 17 chapter with the Heavenly Father. Um, it's like where Yahweh shall pray for us. You know, he prayed to the Heavenly Father for us. You know? But I pray for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art con converted, strengthen thy brethren. So we got to strengthen one another with these videos. Because I know if I'm going through something, another brother going through, going through something. He could be going through something even worse than what I'm going through. You know, so I just pray, you know, that this video lesson, could, video lesson could strengthen you to continue on in the faith. You know, another thing too, pray for brothers. You know, you never know what brothers are going through. You know, pray for brothers, you know, for us to continue enduring. Right. Let's get Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that lead up to destruction. And many there be which growing the rats. Scripture say what? There are more that's going to get destroyed than those that get saved. You know, because they all what they 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 on that wide gate, that broad that broad gate, that leads to destruction. You know, they took the easy way out. You know, that easy path where, where a whole bunch of people could fit in at one time, but they didn't want to go into that narrow path. You see, it says, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and we're being led down our path as we speak, man. This is the way walk ye in it, and few there be that find it. So who's that few that finds it? The elect, the remnant. And Lord willing, we are part of that number, man. You see? You can't stress that, you know, that fact enough. Right? So don't allow Satan to win, you know? Don't allow them, them wicked thoughts to overcome and let it play out in the physical. It's a, it's a spiritual warfare. You see? 
get we're gonna ultimately get the victory over the beast we gotta keep enduring you know over the system because we know what the beast is the beast this beast system you know, revelation 15 chapter says get the victory over the beast its image and its mark you know because we know that's coming very soon the karagma right after this crack scene right so now let's get philippians 4 and 13 i can do all things through yahweh shai mashiach which strengtheneth me we can do anything man you know through Yahweh Shamashiach, who strengthens us, he, he strengthens us, man. You know, so we because we're all in the same path, you know, and what keeps us going? Yahweh Shah, he's strengthening us, man. He's praying for us. You know, our prayers, he's bringing it right to the Father. You know, he's he's our mediator, our high priest, you see, our savior. And he's strengthening us to continue on. You see? So we have to we have to remember that, man, you know. And we have right hand angels all around us giving us thoughts, righteous thoughts, of video lessons, and oh, pray very quick. You know, when you're feeling down, you get that thought, your dope of prayer. That's the angel. You'll pray. You know, pray to the Father. You know, those be angels, man. You know, because I be going through it sometimes. I'm not feeling like, you know, really in the spirit. The next thing I'll get, a, you know, the thought to just pray right quick. And I was, man, that's, I'm praying. That's an angel right there. You know? So, uh, let's, let's get this one right here. Second chapter 7, verse 1. And when I had made an end of speaking these words, there was sent unto me the angel which had been sent unto me the night afore. And he said unto me, Up, Ezra's, and hear the words that I am come to tell thee. And it's, it's the angel Uriel, right? It says, And I said, Speak on my power. Then said he unto me, The sea is set in a wide place that it might be deep and great. But put the case, the entrance were narrow and like a river. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he were not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? There is another, also another thing: a city is builded and set upon a broad field, and um, and it's full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow, and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water, and one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small there, sm so small that there could but one man go there at once. We must all work at our own salvation. All work at our own salvation, man. Continue on to keep enduring, right? We all got to go through this path, right? It says, if this city were now, in that city, you know, going to the kingdom of heaven, right? It says, if this city now were given unto a man for inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? And I said, it is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. So we all have to go through this, man. This is the path that leads to everlasting life. You know, this is the way. Walk ye in it. This truth. You know, so we must continue on. Your Heavenly Father, what? He will strengthen us. You know, he will give us courage to continue on. Let's read it. Psalms 31 verse 24. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see that? Let's read this another one right here. It says, um, Matthew 6 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Heavenly Father. And his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you you know so he's got to seek the kingdom and his righteousness and the lord will look out for us man you know any any type of things we you know that be bothering your mind you be worrying about certain things you know of the world the lord said listen just you know seek the kingdom and all the things will be added unto you man don't worry about what you're going to eat what you're going to wear you know where you're going to live where you're going to stay what you're going to drink you know you just got to seek the kingdom the lord's i'm gonna add all these things unto you man See, that's where faith comes in. Faith, you know. Uh, let's read this. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy power, he it is that doth go with thee, and he will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. You know, so even amongst, you know, our enemies, you know, our camp is running about. We ain't supposed to be afraid of these people, man. The Heavenly Father is with us, you know, and he's going to strengthen us, man. Right? Let's end it off with this one. 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 13. They have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. You see? So everything we're going through is, is, is um, the Lord, he now gives us more than what we can bear. He's going gonna to say it. It says, but the heavenly father is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. You know, so on this narrow path, the Lord will give you much more than what you can um, take. You see, so that's what each brother's going through something. Um, we're all going through, you know, catching hell, but each brother, hell may be different than other brothers, you know what I'm saying? But we all going through it. He's not, give us more. He's not gonna give us more than what we can bear, you know. So we, we must continue what trusting in the Lord, 
You know, having faith in Yahweh Bashem El Shai. I'm gonna end it off with this one, Matthew 11 and 28. Come unto me and come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Yahweh Shai said, I'm gonna give you rest, man. You see? It says, Take my yoke, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find a rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. See, Yahweh Shah said what he went through was light, man. And the scriptures also go into that too. Like what we're going through, this is considered a light thing. You know? This, this you know, this is light. You know, so we gotta continue on. So don't lose faith, you know, don't lose hope. You know, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, he's gonna look out for us. This is the way walk ye in it, man. Continue on the same path, on this narrow path, you know, with different difficulties all set around us, dangers. Right? So I pray this is edifying through the spirit and probably how Bashim Al Shai. I want to give Kol Laimla, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Akai Kudash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations. Alex got it abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity without him to say Shalom. Wa Ba 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 Shalom. Wa Blessed is the man that endureth the temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David, not his eyes from the righteous, but with kings are they on the throne, yea, he doth establish them forever, and they are exalted. The elect, the elect of the nation of Israel, they were born to be leaders of the nation. What did Yahushai tell his disciples? You shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Think about that, man. We're being created, we're being formed, we're being forged into being leaders, leaders of this great nation, the nation of Israel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and lust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.